What's up, Service First Mortgage? John here. It's Tuesday. I want to share a couple of things with you guys. Um, one, the race challenge is rolling. Um, it's, a, it's a tall order to get to 60, um, five, 69 miles. I get it. Um, just see how far you can get. I know right now Kevin Johnson's in the lead. He's like an Iron Man crazy runner. In second place, our HR director, Mark Rizzamini. He told me he had a dog that was a little bit overweight, and so he's taking him walking in the morning and the evening. He's in second place walking his dog. This is possible, guys. Get out there, work through the holiday season, go eat your turkey, go take a walk, go take a run. Push yourself. How far can you get in the run challenge? It's fun. Keep going, guys. I love the energy around it. A lot of people are talking to me about it. I know it's pushing people to do things they haven't done. Second, um, I was thinking about in each of my coaching sessions this week, the thing that keeps coming up is what is a perfect week look like? What is what does it take to win the week if you're in sales? And I found a, a post from a friend of mine in Seattle. He's a loan officer, branch manager, and um, he posted this. I don't know if you can read it, um, but this is exactly what it's going to take to have a great mortgage business. He says 15 face-to-face -face meetings a week, five coffee or lunch meetings, 60 great phone conversations, 150 video messages, 150 video messages, one to two events and five handwritten cards. Think about how big this vision is to have a great mortgage business. Is your goal big enough? Is your, um, is your week defined in a way that you know how to win and you're going to do the things you need to do to hit your goals? We're all working on our business plans. I've been reviewing with a lot of you guys and we really need to think about are we shooting big enough? Are we casting a big enough net? Are we calling our 25 we have good relationships with, but are we going over here and targeting another 100 agents and going wide with those and sending video messages? Think about the, the, the framework of that. Sit down and write out, what do I need to do to win the week? How many phone calls? How many meetings? How many note cards? How many video messages? How many texts? Whatever you want to write down. How are you going to win the week? Track yourself to that success. What gets measured gets done. So it's so important. Uh, I, want to get, I wanted to share that with you guys. Next, marketing. So we have our uh, fall cause. We have $500 uh, off for police officers. How are you marketing toward police officers? Are you going back to your database? Are you calling your police officer friends? Are you calling down to the stations in your towns and just saying, hey, we got a special running. Can we get it posted in your Facebook pages and all that? Could you uh, organize where you maybe do a day where you take them lunch and you show appreciation for police officers and you give them a flyer and say, by the way, um, we're also running special discounted fees. What can you do um, to market our police officer campaign? Second, we're doing a toy drive uh, that's benefiting Brotherhood for the Fallen. Each branch has a, um, a basket to gather toys. Tell your, do some posts about it, make some videos about it, send some emails about it, have people um, bring some toys, participate in that. Last of all, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. It's such a, a great holiday. I love spending time with my family, watching football, just hanging out, making memories, having traditions. I hope you guys get to have the same pleasure that I have on the holidays with my family. I appreciate each one of you for all that you do. And uh, have, a, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, guys. Have a good week. See you next week.